Okay, so step one of this engagement ad is we'll just simply post it. So yeah, post whatever you want to run on the business page first, and then we just go straight okay. to the ads manager. So there's post number one, and then below it, um, post, post number two. two. And never hit boost post. Never. I know. Away, right? Never hit the blue button. We always want to come into the business manager. So let's just open up another tab. Let's go to the business manager. Um, do you have your folders? Yeah. Um, Let me just get rid of all this stuff really quick. Okay, cool. I this meeting is being okay. recorded. Okay, cool. So now all we're going to do is simply click the green button. Um, and always, we always want to make sure we're in the right account, which I believe we are. So I always look at the top left right there, Northwestern Christian Credit. Can I turn this one off first? Um, completed. Yeah. Even when it's complete, it's completed. It, it's off. It is off, but it's still blue. So yeah, you want to get in the yeah. habit of just shading each one to, to gray. So that was, that was the first you shaded the, the campaign. Now we click on the middle, shade that one to gray. And then we click on the third one, shade that one to gray. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, cool. And then just X out one selected, one selected, one selected. You could just X out and then we just come back. Make sure you always X those out before you click the green button. Oh, because if, because if you left one checked, then, and then you go and click the green button, you're going to end up creating an, another ad around that ad that's still checked. So okay. you want to make sure everything's unchecked. And then um, how do I uncheck this? You can either uncheck it there or you can even hit the one selected, the blue little thing at okay. the top right. So it should be so, gone. Make mm -hmm. sure it's gone here. Nope. Hmm. Okay. So it's gone there. And then um, we'll leave it checked, leave it checked because you're in that ad. So leave that checked and then check each other tab. Check. Oh, got you. Check that one. That one's gray. Check the first one okay. contains. That one should be gray. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know where. Yeah, that one was already great. Yeah. So now uncheck that, uncheck that. And then now okay. we can start the new ad, new ad. So can you X out this top right, your bookmarks? Just get rid yep. of it. Okay, cool. So now we just click the green button and we're going to run um, engagement. So engagement is good when you're targeting a local area. You're trying to just get people engaged and, and, and stay top of mind. Um, that's engagement. But Kartra, as you mentioned earlier, it's really just for conversions when you're actually going for leads. So in right. the future, that, that car, the, the interest rate post in the future, we need to be running that to, to a car trip page, to a landing page right. to actually capture the lead. Um, because engagement, all that's doing is, is keeping people on Facebook, getting people to comment, which is good too. When I'm targeting a local area, that's not bad, right? Getting people to comment, getting people to share it, getting people to like it, staying top of mind in my local area. So engagement is not, not bad. It's just not going to net a lead. Right. Unless unless that person comments and then you got to That's where you got to micromanage. So engagement is where you're micromanaging the post because and that's what you've been doing. You're, you're right. paying attention to who's commenting. That's micromanaging. Right. I don't really like micromanaging. Like I want to just run yeah. the ad, get people to get people to opt in and maybe get an appointment. That's okay. It. But in this case, we're just starting out. So, yeah, engagement, you'll just be looking out for posts, looking out for comments. Okay. You know, and that's that's engagement. So so right here, what I want you to do is as we come in, I want you to get in the habit of hitting right above the blue button. There's that drop down. Just get in the habit of, of, of titling everything here. So scroll down. Okay. Here we just have our three titles. So get away from the drop down. Yeah, get oh, away from sorry. that. So, so scroll down. So we have the campaign title, the ad set title, and the ad title. And all this is, is the titles. So everything you see okay. in the background, that's what that is. So campaign, let's give it a name. So which, what, what ad this is, what ad is it, what image, which video, right? So you want to make that as short and descriptive as possible. So when you look at the dashboard, you know exactly what ad that is. So mad annual meeting, Napa, 20 mile, um, the 20 mile doesn't go there. Just, just, oh. the, just the name of the ad. Um, and if it's an image or if it's a video, so mad annual meeting Napa put image and then, and then in parentheses, in parentheses, because this is step one, this is the title of the campaign in parentheses engagement. So we know exactly which objective it is, right? So we know it's an image. We know what ad, and we know the objective engagement, the ad set. That's where we would put 20 miles. Cause that's where we choose the budget. Okay. That's where we choose the targeting um, is in the ad set. So go ahead and title the ad set something. Um, yeah, you could bring the same thing down, take away engagement, maybe just put 20 miles or whatever your, your, your radius is. And you want to stick to the same miles. So right. whatever you're targeting, don't, don't switch that. Continue to build that brand in that same exact radius, 20 miles, right? Okay. So Napa, 20 miles. 
and then the ad, you could just do the same thing. Do I need image still, or you just get rid of image? No, no you can you can get rid of image. Yeah, you can get rid of image. Yeah. This is the ad set title. So all right. we really care about is is the miles, um, and then maybe maybe put in there the the budget, whatever whatever the budget is, twenty five bucks or whatever. Like you can you can add that there maybe if anything, maybe put that in parentheses. But um, I think okay. I'll spend forty dollars on that. Yeah. See, so. And then, and then put that in parentheses and then the ad, the title for the ad, you can just, um, you could just use the same as the top, um, okay. but no, no engagement, just, just the, just up to the image. So just mad, okay. yeah, just take away the engagement and just, and that's fine. That's the ad. Okay, cool. And then continue. So getting in the habit of titling everything here just makes it easier. That um, is easier. Thank you for that. I, yes. that totally helps. Yes. So boy, continue. And then now we go into the next step, which is still step one, but over here we go categories. We have to go um, because you're in the in the credit, you're in the um, lending. So click on categories, and you'll always go with the top one, credit. Yep. And maybe even always go with housing as well. You can go with multiple. So just 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 for compliance and really cover our butt, go with housing as well. Um, okay. Credit and housing, and that's and that's it. And then we scroll down and we click next. That's step one. Okay, that's campaign. That's the, the okay. first tab. Now we come over here where we choose the budget and we choose the targeting. So we already titled everything at the top. So we're good there. Um, and then if you end up changing it here, then just change the title. You know, um, so daily, you want to go lifetime. Yes. And then you always want to start oh. the next day. Yeah. So make sure you always double check that because they'll always throw that number off for you. So, um, so that's 40. And then, and then we'll change the date. We'll always start at the next day at um, 6 a.m. And then end time will be the same 6 a.m. And then, um, and so, yeah, just with it being the beginning of the month, you know, really just, because I know you're good at planning and, and, and scheduling and, and staying on track of all this stuff. Like this is what you do. So what I would do is I would just look at the next four weeks and, and, and really determine what that budget is. Yeah. And, and this is where it starts. So July 3rd to how long are you running for seven days or what do you, what do you do? I was going to, if I do wait this one, hold on. We got to go back to June. So this is today's right. This is, um, th this is the end date. So, so this would be, it would be June 3rd to what June 3rd to June, um, June, June 10th. 10th. And then I'll run a new one. Okay. The next one will pick up on the 10th. The next one will go live on the 11th. Yeah. So that $40 budget, is it really 40? Is it 40 times four or is it really supposed to be 25 times four? You know what I mean? So just whatever the budget is, just divide it evenly. Um, well, I could run 40 a week. Okay, perfect. On this. Well, 40 a week. So that's over the one week. Weeks. I'm sorry, what did you say? 40, 40 a week for the next four weeks. Because I want you to just yeah. the budget. So, so okay, so the budget's 160 for the month. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. So then, okay, good. So, so six, so, so just keep in mind our second ad that we're going to run goes live on 611, right? And then it runs from there. And there's the other $40. That's ad number two, which we'll do next. Right. So, so that's there. Perfect. 6 a.m., 6 a.m. Good. Now we'll scroll down. And what we can do, since we actually have some audiences that have been built, right? We have some audiences that, that we've been targeting already or that we've been, we've been building already. So now right. custom audiences, let's go ahead and put in the lobby video, 25%. Let's put in the Christmas party. Let's, let's, let's put in um, even people who engaged with any post or ad. Let's put in the welcome video. Um, let's put in Facebook no, we visitors. No, we don't need that one. Let's not, let's not, let's not put in that one. Um, okay. And then, and then, so those are audiences that we're going to retarget with this ad and now go back up to the top where you see United States edit, edit the United States, no down um, United States. So right oh, there, sorry. Okay. I usually see, Oh, there it is. Okay. It sorry. edit Take away the United States and then just um, put in Napa. Yeah. And then just, um, just go Napa 25. Okay. Perfect. I think we said 20, but I'll put 20. Or 20, 20. I'm so sorry. You know, no, no, no. Do what you did. Do what, do what you okay. want. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, okay. you did say 20. I'm sorry. Okay. 20 and then hit enter and then and then you're good. So so at the top, people living in or recently in. Oh, 
right? right? Only living. Yeah, we want people living. Okay, perfect. And then yeah. we'll scroll down. And what we can do also, which we really haven't done for other for other ads, is we can go back up to the top a little bit. We can put in some targeting. Um, why don't we put in some some actual targeting? So go ahead and click on show, show more options right there below the blue dot, show more options. Um, scroll back up. It's actually the, we're, um, go back up. Yeah, right here, detail targeting, right below the, the blue dot, click on edit. So if anything, what we can do is simply let's, let's, and when it comes to targeting, and this, this applies for local, this applies for nationwide ads. When it comes to targeting and putting detail targeting, the actual keywords, it's good to go off of quote unquote interest. So people who have an interest in something. And so you'll target interest, the, 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 you'll target keywords under interest, which you'll see interest once we type something in. But then also, it's also good to target people who have an interest in a top influencer. So, so again, wow. in this case, you could, you could probably put in, you could probably put in Christian. I'm pretty sure you can do that. Type it in and see, and see what, um, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. Nothing popped up. Um, go ahead and. Well, savings is good too. Actually, because, but... actually, you know what, because you're going credit. Yeah. You know what? This is going to be very, very limited because you're going under the category of credit and housing. Okay. So because of that. Yeah. Actually, because of that, you can't target many. Um, Try type, but but when you do target something like this, what I was really trying to say is the interest and then targeting an influencer. So for oh, yeah, I would be targeting in I don't know if we're gonna be able to, but we'll check it. But okay. but just giving you the the I the just planning so this personal finance. Not even personal finance. I would be targeting people who have an interest in Joel Olstein. I'd be targeting people who have an interest in um what's that female pastor, the popular one that's been out forever? She's super, super I, I love her. Um What's her name? Um, she's been on Beth TV. Moore? No, she's been on TV for a super long time. She's a she's a female pastor. Joyce she, Meyer, that's really Joyce old. Joyce Myers. Yes, yes, yes. I'd be targeting her. So when it comes to targeting, it's good to target a top influencer in that industry because okay. those are people like a Joel Osteen, for example. He has millions and millions of people who follow him. So if I can target the people who have an interest in him, those are probably people who fit my my audience as well. Okay. So that's how you would, you, but, it, but in this case, watch type in Joel Olstein. I don't know if, I don't know if you're going to be able to target under the, under the category of, of credit and housing. Christian, yeah. Um, nope. Yeah. See, so, and then hit suggestions. Yeah. See, so it's only, it's only a few that, that you can actually, that you can actually target. So let's just open it. Let's just leave it blank, leave it blank. And that's okay. the reason why it's good to leave a blank because we're targeting a local area. If, if we were really targeting the whole entire country, then we would narrow it down with these keywords and influencers and interests. But if we're just targeting a local area, 20 miles, just target everybody. Target okay. everybody. That's fine. As long as we're retargeting our audiences, then that's good too. So okay. now we'll scroll down and let's let's go with, we'll go with automatic placement. Sometimes it's good to, to edit placement and just and just have Facebook place the ad on one piece of the platform, like the newsfeed, for example, just yeah. put the ad there. Um, but then sometimes it's good to go automatic. So let's just, let's just, and, and we'll bounce back and forth. Sometimes we'll go automatic. Sometimes we'll go manual placement. So let's just, let's leave it automatic for this, for this one. So okay. we'll scroll down and hit next. That's it. That's step two. That's I, this is where I always get confused. I always want to put some there, but I don't need to. Yeah, don't, not at all. And and really that's that's really for leads. Like if I was, if I was, if I had a certain budget and I was only, let's say, for example, with your with your auto loan, let's say we have a budget, but but we're only willing to pay X amount per lead. That's what that is. So if I put okay. in ten dollars, then then Facebook will make sure that I that I do not spend more than ten dollars per per lead, which was cost per result. Um, right. The result is a quote unquote lead in this case. So you don't need that for this at all. So here, yeah, we'll just simply select post and we'll find that post. I don't know if that's the most current one. Is there any way to look at it to make sure? Well, that one was, was uh, go open up another tab and just go to the post. That one was posted on May 24th. Yeah. So yeah, you can, you can double check. All you do is just is click recorded. on it and then continue. Okay, cool. 
And then um, you can always add the call to action button if, if, if you want. Um, put you might as well just for the heck of it, just put, put yeah. the website. On your call to action? Yeah, right there, add button. And then you just put your, your actual website. Um, now, one thing, one thing that, that, that you want to try to do is try to try to see where that domain is registered. Who has access to the actual domain? Well, we're on it. I mean, I have the Google Analytics on it now, the Facebook. Yeah, you have, you have the pixel on it, but where was the actual domain purchased? Oh, yeah, you told me that. But do I need that since we were going to do the Carta? I didn't follow through because I didn't think we no. needed it. Yeah, no, if we're going to do Kartra, then then yeah, we don't need it. But yeah. but if you have the pixel on the page now, then we should we should use it because the pixel's on it. That's one thing, that's one thing, but that's only one step. There's like there's like there's like there's like three steps. So step okay. one, step one, and I don't want to confuse you with, with that. We don't it's not even important right now, but just in the future. Step one, which is what you did, you sent the pixel over to the website person, they put the pixel on the website. Okay. That, that's step one. Step two is now taking the actual domain, logging in to where that domain was purchased and, and, and placing a piece of code that we get from Facebook. So oh. now we want to tell Facebook that this domain, my NCCU, for example, .org, we want to tell Facebook that this domain is where the pixel is at. So that's that's step two. That's just another okay. layer of protection. It's another layer of data, where where now Facebook, okay, the pixels on it. Now we now we have Facebook's piece of code on the domain. Now we can take each domain within the watch. Go to your website, and this is super important. And I won't spend too much time on this, and I don't want to overwhelm you with this, but just go to the website now. Okay. Now we could take each domain. So click on anything, go scroll down, click on anything. Right now it's we're, right now we're on myNCCU.org. As we click, we're now on a completely different website. So oh, wow. so, so so go back to something click on something else. There yeah, goes Yeah, this is a PDF. Go to click on something else. Okay. What we want to be able to do is we want to be able to get take a piece of code integrate it with the actual domain so we can start tracking each click that's happening on the website. And we start creating, okay. just like we created audiences with your video, 15% welcome video, right? Just like we created those audiences, we'd be able to do the same with this. So if, okay. if anyone clicks on anything, we would be able to take that link and set up a custom audience and target those people. I could target people who clicked on retirement. I can target people who clicked on. Right. I can have all. And then we could follow up knowing what they need. Yeah. Well, not, not necessarily. They haven't, it's not a lead just yet. So we don't, we don't have their information. Facebook has their information. Facebook has the data. Facebook knows that they clicked. So what we want to do is create an audience of everyone who clicked on young adults. And then maybe in the future, I can run an ad specifically to them. Right. Because okay. I have my pixel on it and because I have the domain registered with Facebook. Okay. That's step two. And then because, and then because step three, I then took each, each link and created a custom audience. Right. So, so right now you did step one, you sent the pixel over. That's good. We just need to get into the, but we got to get it on my domain. Yes. Okay. Integrate Facebook with the domain. Got so it. you need to log into wherever that domain was purchased and add a piece of code. Okay. Now you can easily send that to them. That could be something too. So I'll, we'll, we'll touch on that at the end of this call. That could be something that you can maybe just send to the website guy. Say, hey, here's a piece of code from Facebook. Can you log into wherever this domain was purchased and add this to the DNS records? So whoever's behind the website, they know about the DNS records. They know where that domain was purchased. I would. Are you saying D-S-N-D? D-N-S. 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 Right. Yeah. So, so within wherever a domain was purchased, yeah. wherever it could, there's, there's a few different places where people purchase domains. GoDaddy is a popular one. So if right. I log into, do, into GoDaddy, I can go into my domain. I can go to the DNS records. Every domain has right. DNS records. And that's where you would put the Facebook code. You okay. Facebook yeah. Code. I will email her and ask yeah. her. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to that part, but, um, but yeah, you have the pixel there. We just need to integrate the domain. We'll do that later. Okay.
So, so here, yeah, there's the domain domain there for, for, for now. And, and again, that's just my point. So by, by putting the domain there, people who click on learn more, they're going to go to that page, right? Yes. The pixel is on it, but I want the link set up as a custom audience. Right. So now I can go into custom audiences and name it web page visitors. Right. Because they clicked on the learn more. They went over to the web page. We track them. They're in an audience. I'm going to use that okay. audience to retarget in the future. But right now we don't have access to the domain. So we're not able to add that extra data. Right. So we'll do that later. We'll do that later. For now. Okay. This is fine. So now. I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. So hit publish and that's it. So that is a full blown step by step engagement ad that we've been doing so yes it's good when you're on a lower budget it's good when you're targeting a local area um to just stay stay top of mind with engagement ads um that's not that's not bad at all so when you hit publish sometimes and i've seen this happen many many times now it gets stuck like that so when it gets stuck like that all you're going to do is open up another tab so just open up another tab go back to your bookmarks go back to ads manager and then you'll simply push it through from over here. So if we open this up another tab, now you're going to click on the blue button at the top, pending or the review and publish the three. That's what's pending is the three tabs. So all we do is publish it here and it should push through right away. That blue at the bottom should turn green and we're good. So now just close out the other tab. Um, close out this one. Yeah, close out this one. Okay. And then, and then we're good. So now that ad, yeah, leave. That ad is scheduled to go live tomorrow at 6 a.m. Right. 